So now, iMovie, which most people who have Macs should have on their computer already. Um, if you're a PC user, I'm sorry, I don't, I've worked with, I think, what is it, PowerDirector or something like that before, um, but I know a little bit more about uh, working with iMovie. So when you get into PowerDirector, here's your imported, uh, you want to import your audio and um, all of the choir videos. I've just imported one here, just myself, and, um, and, a, and a background image. So you're going to drag the audio down here. Again, there might be easier ways to do things like this. And so if you know those things, let me know so I don't have to spend so much time on it again. Um, and this kind of zooms in so you can see things a little bit better. Um, and then we have a background picture on ours, so it's not just, I think even if you want it to be just black in the background, you have to add a black background um, anyway. So um, I'm going to go over here to photos. We use this picture I took of the church uh, when there was a pretty sunset. Drag that down here, make it the same length as the audio. Like this. Something like that. Um, that's, this is why it takes so long. It's because you have to make little things happen with a little trackpad. Um, then you're going to go here and you're going to add your first person, and that is me. Um, so I'm going to drag myself here. Now, this clip has volume on it. It's the original um, audio from my from the video before it was edited all together. That's actually useful here because you have your, fi your final audio down here on the bottom. And I'm going to use that to line everything up so that my mouth is moving at the right time because this, edit this audio has already been edited to the exact time I want it to be. So I, you're going to have to kind of trim here at the front. Uh, to, and you can do that by just clicking on it. You should be able to just click on it. Yeah, like that. And I can just remove this stuff at the beginning if it's too much. And then I can just click on this and slide it around to wherever I need, need it to be so that it lines up exactly. Um, and while we're at this point, if, you, if you've watched our virtual choir video, you'll notice that some people kind of twinkle in at the beginning and twinkle out and at different times, which I thought ended up being a really cool effect. I didn't do anything to achieve that except uh, I left this empty space at the beginning. And so when the recording got to where my face is, that's where it kind of faded in, which I thought was, was pretty cool. Um, some people might not like that, and so uh, I'm not sure how to make it uh, just come on at all at the same time. I think that would take a lot of work. Um, okay, so now here's the part where, you know, it's 2020. We should have something that makes this a lot easier on us. And maybe we do, and I just don't know about it. Um, but here's what I, after doing some research, what I found um, worked the best. So you're going to go um, up here to this little, these little two boxes. Make sure you have your, your this top, uh, the person uh, clicked on. You're going to go up to here. Uh, oh, I already had it clicked. And you're going to click this little scroll down box and you're going to click picture in picture. Now it's made me this little square. That's a picture in a picture. Now you would think, well, that was really easy. Now I can just add the next person right up here. Maybe there's another track. No, there's not. <laughs> so what you have to do now, and you can you can change the size of this. You cannot crop it. So that's why I had to crop it uh, in another software, which is really annoying. Um, you can do some cropping, but it it it's 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 just really difficult to manage. I've I figured out. So uh, you can change the size of it. So we'll make this this big since it's not going to be very many people uh, for this video. And then once you've got it, everything lined up with your audio, you're going to come down here to this clip. You're going to turn, click on the audio line, and you're going to turn that whole audio all the way down because you don't need it. And then um, you just adjust. I don't think it really matters on this audio right now because it doesn't really. This audio doesn't really matter until the very last. You're 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 done, and you're adding. You've you've added your last person. So then you have to export the video. So we're going to export it as a file, and I'm going to call it. Let's just call it My Movie Four, and export that. 
save it to my desktop, which has a hundred videos on it right now, it seems like, because you have to do this for every person. So that's exporting, but let's just move this right along. Pretend that we've already done this uh, 15 times. So then you're gonna, once that video has exported, you're gonna import it into here. And then get rid of this background because you don't need it anymore. The other stuff's gonna disappear, that's fine. And then you're gonna drag that down to this main line that we were using before. And so here it is our, our virtual choir partially finished. There's, uh, there's some space still left there for me to add a couple of singers. Um, and so then you just repeat the step. So uh, here's, uh, just pretend this is a different person, uh, add them back to this, this section, um, and then do the same thing. Go up here to picture in picture, and then move them around to wherever you want them to be. It's really difficult for someone with just a trackpad. Sorry, my air conditioner just came on and it's really loud. Um, and that's a problem And when people are recording. So make sure you tell them to do things like turn the air conditioner off like I should have done. Um, so uh, it's really difficult to make these all the exact same size, especially when it doesn't seem like you can make this area any bigger. You can make it full screen, but you can't edit when it's full screen. So the one thing I'm not really happy about with ours is that um, some of them are different sizes. I wanted to get it as exact as possible. And um, and you're gonna wanna count how many people you have and figure out what your layout is gonna be before you get started with this process. Otherwise, you could get to the end and you could end up with it pretty wonky looking, um, which for some people that might be fine. For me, I like things to be symmetrical and, and to look as crisp as possible. And I, some people overlap a little bit. Some people there's more space between than others. And that kind of bothers me, but overall, I think I'm the only one that probably really cares about that and everybody else doesn't really even notice it, except for now. Um, so here we've added another person and don't forget to line up your audio. So clip it at the beginning and end if you need to. And then before you export, don't forget to turn down the audio on this clip. And now this clip also has audio on it, which you can probably add another step to get rid of that before you export it. Um, but to make sure you turn that down too. Uh, before you export it. So that way only the, the professional uh, audio that you've mixed uh, is what's left on there. And so when you're all finished, then you export this um, finished product uh, as a video, and then you upload it for all your friends to see and enjoy. So are there any questions? I'm kind of seeing all these comments. This is my first time doing a live video like this. So does anybody have any questions? Let me scroll through here and see if anybody asks anything. <laughs> Somebody said I want to sing if there's another one. Yeah, it, it might be a while before there's another one. This, this whole editing process, like I said, we started this on March 18th. This is when I sent out the email, gave the choir a week to work on everything. And then uh, they all sent them to me. I kind of had to prod them a little bit to make sure everybody sends it in and I, I know some people were uncomfortable with it and didn't want to do it, so that's fine. Um, it would, but it would took about, from the start to finish, me editing the audio and the video took about 12 hours uh, because that video, the first one that I started exporting, is only halfway done right now. So that's why it takes so long. Um, and you can't get started on the next one until this one is finished. So it's, it's still exporting and then you have to wait and then you redo that and you do that, in my case, 25 times. Um, so that's what made it take a long time. But now that I, I ran into a bunch of problems, of course, being my first time ever doing one of these, I ran into a bunch of problems, you know, just figuring out how to do it and how to make things work. Uh, I got halfway through and uh, figured out I didn't like the layout of how things were going because I didn't really think about it before I started. And I just started over again. And so um, I think maybe the next time it would take maybe maybe half the time, hopefully. Uh, but somebody asked me when we're gonna do the next one, are we gonna have one every week? And I politely said no, uh, because it's a lot of work um, 
for somebody who this is not my professional field, um, I'm more comfortable directing a choir or playing for a service or something like that than I am at trying to mix audio when there are people who do that for a living and can do that so much better. But this video is for my church musician friends or uh, school teacher friends that just have the basics like iMovie and Audacity. You don't have to have professional um, recording equipment or anything like that. Um, I did use my Zoom recorder to record uh, the piano track because um, the piano was making my phone mic clip a little bit and I didn't like that. Um, so, and that's another thing, be careful when you're editing your audio, as you add more layers of people into Audacity, the overall volume gets louder and louder and louder and that'll make it clip, I think is the word that, that it's used when the lines get into the red area and uh, it sounds terrible. So be mindful of that when you're editing your audio. It might sound good, but it might be overall too loud um, for the, the audio. Um, so just be careful of that. And honestly, if something's clipping all the time when I'm listening to a recording, I can't stand to listen to it anymore. So uh, just, just make sure you uh, take care of those things. Um, let's see, are there any other questions? I think that covers everything. Um, so um, I look forward to seeing what you guys think and hopefully this will work for you. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but um, I, I, I was surprised there wasn't a really good tutorial out there. And by means this is not the best tutorial about this, I'm sure. Uh, um, but hopefully this helps uh, some of my friends who are wanting to do this as well. So uh, take care and stay safe, everybody. Bye.